In the last lesson, we looked at some relatively simple functions. They had one input and one output. But you can make functions with multiple inputs, multiple outputs, no inputs, no outputs, and you can even have functions call other functions. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at some of these more complicated user-defined functions. So here's one example with a function that has multiple input. So we have a program called main.m and it's going to call a function subby three times. And this function is stored in subby.m. So going to our program main.m, we have x equals 2, w equals 5. We have an f printf statement that says subby is percent %i. So what gets put in this percent %i place will be the value of subby when the first argument is 2, because x is 2, and the second argument is 5, because w is 5. Now, the first argument, uh, x here, or 2, gets passed into x here in the function. So the value of 2 gets passed into the variable x in the function. The value of the second item here in the argument list, which is 5, gets passed into the second item in this list, so w gets to be 5 in subby. 2 minus 5 is negative 3, and that gets returned to the main program and printed off on the screen. Subby is negative 3. We come to our second f printf statement, and we say subby is percent %i. So we look at over here on the right side of this comma. Subby, first argument is 3, second argument is 6. So we go to the function subby. First item, x is 3. Second item, w, is 6. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. This variable gets passed as output to the main program. And we print off subby is negative 3. We have a third f printf statement, subby is percent %i. So again, we print off the value of the first item in this list. w is 5. So 5 will get passed to x, the first item in this argument list in the function. The value of x, which is 2, gets passed into the second item, uh, or second variable here in the list, w. So what gets passed down is not the variables themselves, but the values of the variables. So w is 5, x is 2. So up here, 5 and 2 is passed into x and w. 5 minus 2 is 3. That gets passed back up as output to the main program. And subby is 3 is what's printed off on the screen. Here's an example with multiple output. We have a program main that calls a function y two times. y has one input, but it has two output. So we say x is 2. So the value of 2 will get passed to the function y. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. That gets stored in a and b. The first item in this output list here, a, which is 1, so the value 1 will get passed to the first item here in the main program. So a in the main program gets the value of 1. B has the value of 4. It's the second item in this list, and so this will get passed to the second item in the main program, which is B. So A is 1, B is 4, and that's what gets printed on the screen. We now call up Y again, and we pass the value 4 to the program. So 4 will get passed to the function Y, so X gets the value of 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. That gets stored in A and B, and they're sent back as output to the main program. So A has the value of 2. It's the first item in the list. And this is what gets passed to the first item in the list down here, to G. G gets the value of 2. B, the second item in the list, will get passed to the second item in the list in the main program. So it gets the value of 8. And when we display it on the screen, we display 2 and 8. You can make functions with no input or no output and you should already be familiar with one function that has no input and it's the pi function. 
If you just type in pi, it'll return 3.14159 and many more digits. Here's an example where we have no output. We have a program called main and a function called warn. And this is stored in warn.m. Warn, the whole purpose of warn is to display a warning if val has a certain very uh, value which is 2 so here we call uh, we have the we have val having the value of 3 and we call the function warn and pass the value 3 into val in the warn function is val equal to 2 it's not so we skip this if statement and nothing's returned to the main program okay that's perfectly fine now we say val is equal to 2 so val has a value of 2 2 is passed into uh, val here in the function warn val is equal to this is true and we will display warning 2 end function nothing's back nothing is passed to the main program the whole purpose of this function is just to display a warning if val has a certain value we can have functions within functions and call up multiple functions within a program so here we have x is equal to 3 so let us calculate what w of 3 is so 3 is passed to x down here in the w function we have 3 minus 2 is 1 and that's returned as output and displayed on the screen 1 is displayed on the screen now let's try to calculate y of 3 so the value of 3 is passed to y here or to x here in the function y so we have 3 plus oh now we have w of x called again so x is 3 now we pass this value to the x here in uh, the function w. So we have 3 minus 2 is uh, 1. That, get passed, that gets passed back up here to w uh, of x, so 1. Remember that x is 3, so we have 3 plus 1 is 4. That gets passed back up to the main program now so we will display 4. Well we know uh, that w of x is 1 and y of x is 4 so without going through all the steps again we can display the sum of these two which is 1 plus 4 but what the program would do is it would actually go through all the steps of calculating w of x and y of x.